Have you ever stopped to wonder why Earth is exactly where it is? Not too close to the sun, not too far. It just works. But what if that wasn't the case? What if Earth wasn't the third planet from the sun? How different would everything be? Our climate, our oceans, our very existence. Today, we're going to mess with reality and shift Earth around the solar system to see what would actually happen. Let's start by moving Earth one step closer to the Sun, into Venus's orbit. At first glance, it doesn't seem that dramatic. But here's the thing. Temperatures would soar past 400 degrees Celsius. That's hot enough to melt lead. Our oceans would literally boil away, and the atmosphere would thicken into a toxic greenhouse gas nightmare. Forget palm trees and sunny beaches. You'd be living inside a pressure cooker wrapped in acid clouds. Life as we know it wouldn't stand a chance. But it's not just the heat. A closer orbit changes everything. Earth would speed up, finishing a year in just 224 days. Our days might stretch longer due to increased tidal drag. And without seasons, you'd lose the rhythm of spring, summer, fall and winter. Even worse, the Moon's relationship with Earth would be thrown out of whack. Tides would become extreme. Weather systems might become unstable. The delicate balance that makes Earth livable, gone. Now let's move Earth the other direction, way past Mars, next to Jupiter. At first you might think, cool, it's colder, but maybe still okay. But there's a huge problem. Jupiter. It's not just a big planet. It's a gravity monster. Its pull would mess with Earth's orbit so badly, we might end up on a wobbling path through the solar system. That means unpredictable seasons, brutal climate shifts, and possibly extinction-level asteroid impacts. Because guess what? We'd be smack in the middle of the asteroid belt. So while Jupiter might be our neighbor, it's not exactly a friendly one. OK, let's get wild. What if Earth was as far out as Neptune? The sun would look like a bright star in the sky. Sunlight would be 900 times weaker than what we get now. That means no photosynthesis, no warmth, no weather as we know it. Our atmosphere would start freezing. Oceans turn to ice. Life? Maybe something could adapt underground, but humans? We'd be done. Earth would become a giant snowball drifting in the dark. Here's the thing, life on Earth depends on a razor-thin margin. Move us just 5% closer or farther, and over time we could enter runaway heating or cooling cycles. Even slight orbital shifts mess with climate systems, ocean currents, and atmospheric chemistry. Earth works because it's balanced. The sun gives just enough. The atmosphere traps just enough. Gravity keeps everything aligned. Throw any of that off, and the whole system crashes. It might seem like Earth just got lucky, but it's more than that. Our position is the result of billions of years of cosmic accidents, gravitational tugs, and orbital alignments. We orbit in the Goldilocks zone, not too hot, not too cold. It's that perfect distance that allowed water to stay liquid, plants to evolve, and animals to crawl onto land. Without this sweet spot, life never gets a chance. But what if there's another Earth out there, in a different solar system, orbiting another star? Just the right distance, just the right conditions. Astronomers are already finding Earth-like planets in other star systems. Some even sit in their own Goldilocks zones. Maybe one of them has oceans, clouds, even life. Maybe there's another version of us looking up at their night sky, wondering the same thing. So next time you hear someone say Earth is just a rock in space, think again. Our place in the solar system is anything but random. It's the result of a billion tiny chances lining up perfectly. If we had formed just a little too close or too far, we wouldn't be here. And that should make you wonder, how many other Earths never made it? Stay curious. And if you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe for more space stories, science twists, and mind-bending what-ifs.